M0FXB. So I've um, had my room ID number and node ID number from YZX ready for my Yesu FT5. I've done all this before. So just as a reminder, so go on to Yesu, um, the, just put in YZX uh, into Google and you'll come up with this page and register yourself, member registration. Create an account and register yourself. And, and then um, in that process, if we just go member registration here, It'll give you an, an email address here and it will send you an email and then within that email it will send you the application. Fill it out, it's your name, address, that kind of stuff, call sign. Uh, and it will then send you a room ID number and a node number that you can set up your WiseX account. So once you've done that and you, you'll be able to log into your account like this, this is me logged in, yeah? Uh, and then from here, if you go to the node owner page, um, well, let me just log in again, one sec. Five. So we're on our node owner page, and then what happens, click node owner page here, and at the top, you've got the YZX PC software information. So uh, let's download. That, this is the, the first link is information, just reading how to do it. So we'll do that, and then and this is the actual software here, which is now downloading as a zip. And then we're going to download the uh, instruction manual, which as you know, we never ever read. Um, but it's all here and I'll refer to it if there's any problems, okay. But this new version, which is 1.540, is includes the um, Yesu FT5, which is so I haven't really seen anyone do, um, that has done this yet. So we're letting that download. Um, so what is PDN? Well, once you get it up and running, you'll be able to log into all these rooms and you'll be able to connect to people direct and it'll all be done no what no rf at all that's the whole point of it is that you don't need antennas and you'll be able to get into all these rooms and lots of people have joined and added their own rooms and it's a really good system and it's just fun to use um and i enjoy it so right so we go to the zip and we're gonna uh double click the this part here set up for 64 that's the one i'm gonna click you've got all these files you get I'm just going to click set up a 64, let it run and open. Now there's a first time configuration on this, um, so and we're just going to do it. So here we are, I'm going to click the bottom one, uh, wires X uh, set, set up, I'm going to let that in. I still, haven't what, I still actually don't know how to put the radio into, um, into wires X PDN mode, so we're not going to auto start up, so because that is a bit annoying. Install. So let's install it. You've yeah, all seen it before, I'm sure. And I'm going to look at the pamphlet. There's going to be some instructions here on um, how to do this. So, what's, so let's see if we can find the wires X little emblem. There it is. There, the little green on the left. We're going to click that. Uh, right, look, right now, so the radio isn't connected, so now the next thing we need to do is get the radio into PDN mode, and then select the device, go into device manager here on the left, device manager. Remember, I do this as I learn, yeah, so, uh, um, right, device manager, takes a minute. We're not going to show up yet. Now the cable you need is the SCU-19 or the SCU-39, if you haven't seen one. I'll just put it here in front of the camera. Let's go back a bit. So yeah, you can get them online, you know, they are 50, 60 quid and really it's the SCU-39 kit you need. And it has the connector that goes into the side of the radio. It looks a bit like that and the connector goes in here. Hopefully you can see that. So uh, we're going to do all this as we go. Just going to pause the video while we move a bit further. So your ports, you're going to be looking in in here. And there's not going to be one there yet because we haven't plugged it in yet. Right, we've been reading the manual and it says plug the cable into the side of the radio which that we've done in the other end in the computer turn the radio off like so hold down the gm and band button while turning on so we've got the band button done gm and we're going to turn it on right 
so now says y is x pdn. Just going to make sure you can see that. With a bit of luck. Yeah, it looks like you can see it. So we're in that mode. So now we're going to go back to the software. Actually, we'll look at the device manager as well. But there's the software. And we will look at, there's a little connection here on the actual software for device manager that opens it up for you. And the, let's have a look at the port. Now, uh, I would say it's the top one, number 18. Can't see another one that looks like it could be it. So I would say, don't forget you have to download the SCU19 USB cable, but I've already done that. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for that. So I'd say COM port 18, so let's refresh. And that should be one of them. And then let's click uh, OK and see what happens. If it connects, the radio does sort of let you know. So here's the screen because you'd have an error. Um, you'd have an error show up um, saying transceiver not connected. See the way it says ready on the bo bottom left here? So this is what they call the first time sort of activation. It's asking for my node number and room, room number that, why, that, P, that um, Yesu sent me via email. It took about three days. So let's just pause it there and get my details in. Right, so it's saying 77768 and then it's saying the room number is 87768. Hopefully I got that right. Let's click ID entry and it puts in some details. That all looks good. Click OK. Now with a bit of luck, it should all start to populate. Um, not sure what that means, but I can't see that I've got to change that. Now if you want to have a look here. Why is ID information? Not changing that. Any comments? Um, I'm just going to put hello, Southwest UK. Okay, that'll do for now. Um, click OK. Right, let's see if it starts to populate. Transceiver mode analog. That's interesting. So see all these things that are populating now. Eventually, the bottom half, these are all, as far as I know, these are all user users. Yeah, other people with node numbers here in the middle. The rooms will all populate. Once we get the rooms, we can find a room like American Link or CQ UK. And then we'll add them to our favorites by right clicking, right click and connect. So if you look at the top here, it's saying Yesu FD5. There's no other information here yet. But it just says Radio FT5. Turn the volume up a bit. Now you can put it into access mode. I'm going to work out how to do that as well, where the radio acts as a hotspot. So I would say put it on the lowest power, which is 0.1. You have to make sure that a third party cannot connect to you, because then if you are, you're sort of breaking the rules. So before you do anything, look at your licensing conditions and don't, you know, don't break them, basically. So let's just give this a minute to populate. We'll leave it live. And um, I know it takes a while, then all of a sudden it just appears. And then let's have a look at this. Oh, you can connect to different rooms here. You can type in a room number. Plug in, view, transceiver settings. Let's just do, ah, oh, they're starting to populate. But let's look at transceiver setting. So you can change, the, at the moment it's set to on, if you go in access mode, it's set to do it in 144000, but you can change that. But um, I'm not going to do that at the moment. So here's a load of rooms at the bottom. So we're going to right click America Link. So we select it first, right click, we're going to go connect. It says cancel call in PDN standby. So we need to learn why it's saying. PDN Sam standby. Let's try CQ UK. Right click, connect. Yeah, so obviously we've done something wrong. So we'll just pause it there until we work out, you know, what we're doing here. 
M0 FXB still here. So yeah, the reason it wouldn't connect was because it wasn't the uh, G and the band button that you push because that put you into PDM mode. We actually needed to be um, in a HRI mode, which is the G, G, X button and the F menu. So you just basically turn it off, hold these two buttons down, turn it on, and then you're in the correct mode. So now, if we look at the screen, we go, we can right click, we'll just do CQ UK or America Link, one or the other. Let's have a look. Uh, da, da, da. Let's find one that we recognize. Here's America Link, so we'll right click, connect, and then what happens is you get all these windows show up, and when we key up now, we should be able to get an audio check from someone who not this is the first time. So we just go, Mic Zero Fox X3 Bravo for an audio check on America Link. So hopefully someone will reply, but you can see it went green on the screen. So we're definitely in the correct mode now, talking to people. You can manually put in numbers here. Just connect to. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, this is Mike Zero, Sierra Victor, Uniform, you are loud and clear, over. If you hear that, that's nice. So let's give a reply. Yeah, thanks very much. I'm on a new Yesu FT5 using the YSX uh, PDN software, using the SEU um, 19 cable and the computer. So it's literally the first time I've done this on this particular radio and you're coming through loud and clear. Nice to meet you. So your call sign did come through, but I've got such a bad memory. Um, but I think it was Mike Zero something. Back to you, name's Andreas, Western Supermare. There you are, it's working well. And then the next thing we've got to learn is how to put it into access mode. So if we don't get a reply, I'm just going to push some buttons on the radio. Okay, and this is Mike Zero Sierra Victor Uniform. I've seen this call sign before, Mike Zero Fox Ray, Fox X Ray Bravo. I follow your YouTube channel. So yeah, I I see a lot of your videos. Am I in one of your videos, Andrea? I am here in Bristol, not very far away from you. And XYL today is in Western Superman. Would you believe? Over to you, Andreas. Oh, sorry. The name is Tiago. Tango India Alpha Golf Oscar. Over to you. M0 FXB from M0 SVU. M0 FXB returning. Yeah, well, lovely to meet you, Tiago. And what a nice name. My name's from uh, Cyprus, As Andreas. And yeah, you are in my video, because I'm videoing this as I do it, and then I'll be posting it in about half an hour. So it took me a while, I had to let, download the latest uh, firmware, or uh, not firmware, software for YSX for the, for the Yaesu FT5. But it's all working, and you can see that I was struggling a bit, but we've got there. Um, so I wonder what radio you're using to come into the YSX system. Back to you. Right, well that's interesting, isn't it? It's only up the road from me, Bristol, which is only about 20 miles away. Okay, M0 SVU returning. I'm using an EASU as well, FT7TD, connected to a jumbo spot. It's a dual time slot that I'm using as a single time slot at this moment in time. So, as straight and as cheap as possible, and I would believe that I have good audio quality with you. So, over to you, M0FXB, M0SVU. M0. M0FXB returning. Yeah, very good audio quality. I still have my FT70. I sold my FT3. I've kept the FT5, and I, I would never sell the FT70. I really like that radio. I've got a spare battery for it, which uh, was, a, was a big plus. So yeah, well, lovely to meet you. I'm going to stand by because I'm in the middle of the video. I'm just going to put this radio into access mode and then end the video. And it should be on in about really about 15 minutes. So thanks for the contact. Thanks very much, Tiago. Uh, back to you for a final. Hopefully you got okay. Okay, Andreas, this is M0 SVU returning for my final. Well, I'm happy to help, you know. I like your videos, but 
some great content for us. And uh, nice to meet you. So this is M0 SVU going back to standby on the Mecca link. There you go. Lovely contact. Thank you very much, Tiago. Thank you for that. Yeah, seven three. Take care. Take care. Hope your wife has a good day in Western. Right. So let's just see if we can get it into access mode, which I think is just a matter of pushing the A B button. No, that's wrong. So there's going to be a button that you push, and when it says access, it means the radio becomes a hotspot. Now I haven't looked at the instructions, so we're guessing. No, that's the location. I got see that a star came up next to no, I'm not sure what that does. So we're gonna have to read the manual on this. There'll be a YSX manual. And uh we'll probably do that in a separate video then and let you know how to get into access mode. So um I don't think there's any other buttons I can push really. Uh maybe if I hold down the A B. No, nope, not gonna happen. No. Nope. Let's try holding down the band. No. <laughs> um, we've got no buttons here that tell us how to do it. No, I'm trying it all. Trying my luck. Look at that. LED on, LED off. Never done that before. Yeah, can't do it. So anyway, but it's working. We've had a contact there. You can, uh, you've got settings here to change the transceiver settings. But when you are in access mode, uh, you can connect direct to a station like this. Connect to, for example, we could put in here, two, I think, CQUK 27793. And click OK. And it should, yeah, call started. Look, we're now in CQUK. So you can put numbers in or you can select rooms and people here. So I think it's well worth having. So uh, 73, thanks for watching. Let's get this on YouTube. And more later on access mode 7-3.